What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question two in the seventh grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that the cafeteria staff made sandwiches, and each sandwich had either rye bread or white bread, ham or turkey, and cheese or no cheese. The staff made an equal number of each type of sandwich, and the sandwiches were placed on a tray. Without looking, Mary will choose a sandwich. We're trying to figure out the chances or probability, chances and probability are words that we can sub in for each other, that Mary will get a sandwich with cheese. All right, so chances means probability. I'll underline that right now. In order to, to do a question like this well, this question does deal with a weird math idea called the fundamental counting principle, and we'll also need to use basic ideas of probability. So first, the idea of the fundamental counting principle, and we'll get to the probability in a second. Fundamental counting principle is the idea that if you have different choices to make as you do something like making a sandwich or choosing an outfit or something like that, your total number of choices are what you get when you multiply the different number of ways each of your individual choices can go together. Now as a very quick example of this, let's say that you're choosing clothes in the morning um, and you have shirts, pants, and shoes. All right, so if you have five shirts and only one clean pair of pants left, because I tended to have more shirts than pants when I was in school, and then three pairs of shoes, in order to figure out how many total outfits you had, you would multiply five by one by three. Your shirts times your pants times your shoes, five times one times three, would give you 15 possible outfits. So I'm gonna erase this magically with the power of editing. Okay, with the magic of editing, all of this is gone and we can go ahead and look at the actual question. So if we're making sandwiches, or if our wonderful cafeteria staff are making sandwiches, rye or white bread is two choices. Ham or turkey, also two choices. Cheese or no cheese, also two choices. So the fundamental counting principle tells us that we need to multiply two times two times two to get the total number of types of sandwiches, and two times two times two is going to give us eight. Now what exactly are these types of sandwiches, and how do we figure out the probability that Mary will get a sandwich with cheese? Well, I'm gonna um, figure that out so that we can all see what's going on here. I will do it in a bit of a harder way and then get to an easier way that just involves reading the question. So bear with me through the hard way. I'm gonna use the magic of editing again to get out my big board, and I'm gonna actually demonstrate how this fundamental counting principle idea works using a tree diagram. So if we look back at our question, um, our two bread choices were, I believe, white or rye. So every sandwich we make can have either white bread or rye bread. And then it can have ham or turkey, ham or turkey. And now each type of bread can go with each type of sandwich. So white bread can be ham or turkey, rye bread can be ham or turkey. And then finally, uh, we can have cheese or no cheese, cheese or no cheese, cheese or no cheese, cheese or no cheese. And at this point, we just need to go ahead and figure out every type of sandwich that we can have. And some of these are going to be a little weird. I'm not sure why the problem was written the way it was. But anyway, uh, we can have white bread with ham and cheese. White bread, ham, cheese. We can have white bread, ham, and no cheese. White bread, ham, no cheese. We can have white with turkey and cheese. We can have white with turkey and no cheese. Rye, ham, and cheese. Rye, ham, no cheese. Rye, turkey, cheese. Rye, turkey, no cheese. So these are all the different types of sandwiches that we can have. Notice that no two are exactly the same. Each one has at least one ingredient different from each of the others. All right, so now, at this point, we're trying to figure out the probability of getting a sandwich with cheese. And in order to do basic probability, you need two things that you're gonna go ahead and put in a fraction. You need a 
And I kind of wrote this in words to start with. I know it's a bit longer, but I think this can help us just see what's going on. In the numerator of your fraction for your ratio, you're gonna put the number of ways to get what you want, and in the denominator, you can put the total possibilities. All right, so in terms of ways to get what we want, we're looking for every sandwich that has cheese. That's one, two, three, four. Uh, so I'll go ahead and write that up here. That's four over something. And in terms of our total possibilities, I just need to count the number of different types of sandwiches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this matches the math that we did from the fundamental counting principle earlier, so it's good that we know that we did this correctly. But there are four ways to get a cheese sandwich out of eight total types of sandwiches. And now four out of eight, we can go ahead and simplify by dividing both our numerator and denominator by four, and that gets us one half. So once again, with the magic of editing, we are back to our answers, and we're back to the original question, and we're looking for one half as an answer, not A, not B, not C. Fantastic. One half is answer D. That's what we were looking for, and now I just want to go over the easier way to do this. You can look at this problem and see that it says cheese or no cheese. That's one of the choices. Since they made an equal number of each type of sandwich, you can reasonably say, and this is especially true if you know the fundamental counting principle and you know basic probability well enough, okay, whether it's ham or turkey and rye or white bread doesn't matter. All I'm worried about is cheese or no cheese. So another way to think about this probability is the number of ways to get what I want. There's just one way to get a cheese sandwich, and then between cheese or no cheese, there's two types of those sandwiches, which brings me to one half as our probability yet again.